right, you guys, so I have three untold tips that no one is talking about that will definitely help you do amazingly well in your PA school interview. What's up, you guys? This is Donna. I am back with another video for you guys. So I know it's interview season. It's interview time. People are going ahead and putting um, their applications in, getting requests for interviews, planning for their interviews, and this video is definitely for all of you and anybody who will get an interview in the future. So I have three simple tips, one, two, three, simple tips that will help you do amazingly well on your PA school interview that nobody ever tells you, right? So here they are. Number one, where are the colors of the school that you're interviewing for? I know I did this. My husband told me about this a while ago. Um, I don't know where he got it from, but I thought it was an amazingly smart thing to do. And so I did that. I looked up the school that I was interviewing at. I saw what their colors were. It was like a red and white. So I went shopping for red and white clothing. Um, you don't want it to be bold and flashy. You want it to be subtle. I had a nice tailored suit, um, black suit, but I had a red and white and blue floral shirt. Um, it was, my suit was buttoned up, so it was a little, it was like playing peekaboo, and I had a pop of a red bag that matched. And everybody that I walked into or I saw in that interview was like, Ooh, I like that bag. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that bag. And I don't know if it helped me get into school, but I'm here now, so you might as well try it, right? You just want to be subliminal with your message. You want to say, pick me, pick me. I'm great for your school. And that is what I feel wearing the colors did for me. It helped me stand out because everybody was in these muted tones, um, but I had a nice little pop of color. Tip number two, do your research. Now, everyone always says do your research, but I'm not talking about just doing your research on the school. Do your research on the school, yes, but do your research on the community of the school. Do the research on the city, the community that the school actually serves and they sit in. Um, do your research on what the school does out in the community. My school works with the free clinic. They go ahead and they provide services with the free clinic. They also do mission trips. So when I was asked if I had any questions for them, I was like, well, you know, I saw on your website and I saw um, in the community newspaper that you all partner with the free clinic and you all go ahead and provide services for the underserved community. And you also do mission trips. Do you have any plans to go to South America or Africa and some of these places that also need help with respect to um, medicine and healthcare? And exactly what do you do when you're providing the care for the people in the community? Like, are, is it free? Is it really free or is it sliding scale? So I had these slew of questions and you know, it showed them that, hey, I'm interested, I'm invested in this. I took time to actually research you all and I'm really interested. And I feel like that also helped me because it's like, oh, this girl isn't just like, willy-nilly coming into the school she really wants to be a part of the culture and that's what it's about showing them that you want to be a part of the culture tip number three and this is the best and biggest tip of all so everybody's always like mm, go ahead and be yourself be yourself be yourself and you'll do fine no that is an absolute lie okay that is absolutely false don't be yourself. Be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be because yourself might be a rude idiot, you know, just being like, just being honest. Like you might be rude, you know, and do you want to be rude on your first date? No, you want a second date and a third date and a fourth date for the next two years. That's what you are doing. When you're in this PA school interview, you guys are on a date. You've been talking to each other back and forth on the phone for a little while. You set this date up and now it's time to put your best foot forward because you wanna impress this person. You wanna be the best you that you could possibly be. So that is what no one is ever gonna tell you. They're not gonna say, hey, be the best version of yourself. You're gonna say, 
be you. And it's a lie. So I want you guys to actually get into PA school. So trust me when I say, don't just be yourself, be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. So thank you guys so much for watching. I just, again, want you guys to remember the three tips that will definitely help you get into PA school that nobody is talking about. These are the untold secrets. And tip number one is to wear the colors of the school. Make sure that you are not necessarily flashy and bold, subtle, but it's subliminal. Pick me, pick me, right? To, tip number two is to do your research. You definitely have to do your research, not just of the school, but also of the surrounding areas of the city, of the county that they're serving in, of the community that this school is going to be a part of. And tip number three, which everybody says, but they are lying, you know, you definitely have to tweak it a little, is don't just be yourself. Be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. You're trying to put your best foot forward. You want a second date. You don't want to get thrown out on the first date and it, you don't want it to be a bad date. So make sure that you put your best foot forward and you'll do amazing. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I have an Instagram page, you guys, where I put up pictures and some videos um, so you guys can connect with me throughout the week while you wait for another YouTube video, right? And we all want to be friends. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Thanks again so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next week. Later!